Hey guys, and welcome to Coastal Impressions. In this video, we're gonna show you how to test your conversions that are set up in Google Ads. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to Google and you're gonna look for the Chrome browser. If you don't have this installed already, make sure you go ahead and install the Chrome browser. Next, you're gonna to wanna to look for an extension. This is the reason we want the Chrome browser is because you can add these extensions to it. So the extension you want is the Google Tag Assistant. So we're gonna add this extension here. So add it, I already have it, so mine says remove. We're gonna leave mine in. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our website. So this is a site that I have conversion tracking set up on. So we're gonna go up here to the top right and you're gonna find your Tag Assistant um, up in the top right corner here. Click on that and we're gonna go up down to and we're gonna make sure that our global site tag is um, green and smiling. And if it's green and smiling, that means it's working. So that means you have your Google Ads tag working. You can also check this number, make sure that number correlates to your conversion. All right, to, to make sure that no, that number matches, we're gonna go back into our Google Ads, go up here to tools and settings. We're gonna go under measurement to conversions. Now you're gonna find your conversion right over here. Click on your conversion. And at the bottom it says tag setup. Click on tag setup and install your tag yourself. By doing this, it's gonna bring up your code again, but you're gonna also see that number. And we're gonna make sure that number for the global, so this is the global tag here. So that number should match the number you have on your site. All right, so pull this up again and compare that number. So yes, mine does match. So to check whether the conversion tracking is firing when a purchase is made, we're gonna actually have to go and make a purchase. Uh, we can do this through uh, making our website in testing mode, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So we're gonna to go to our admin part of our website. So go into your Shopify admin and go into settings. And we're gonna go into our payment providers. And we're gonna to go to Shopify payments manage. So this is important. So if you are running an active store and you have visitors coming every day, make sure you do this when there's not many visitors on the site, cause you're gonna put this in test mode. So if they're making an active purchase, they're gonna be in test mode, so it's not gonna work. You could also put your site into a maintenance mode um, before doing this. That would probably be a good idea. I'm gonna put mine in test mode here, so I'll click and save that. So to completely test our conversion code, what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna search for our product on Google and we're gonna cost yourself one click. Um, so this click is, it's gonna be optional if you wanna, you could always leave it as where we are right now, where we've tested and know that that code's working. But if you wanna make sure that event code gets triggered, just some peace of mind, um, then we're gonna have to do a click. So that way we trigger our ad and it's gonna cause a conversion. So let's go in and search for something that would bring up our product. All right guys, so we went to Google, we've typed in our product name and I've done a search here and I found my product. We're gonna click on that product right here and we're gonna go to visit site. Just remember this is gonna cost you one click. So it's gonna be a real click and it's gonna cost you, well, it depends what your bids are set at. So just remember that when you click this visit to site, it is gonna cost you one click uh, through Google ads. So click there. All right, so we're gonna choose a color. We're gonna add this to cart. And from here, we're gonna go through our checkout. All right, so once you're on your payment page, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a fake credit card number and a fake name and expir expiration date. All right, so let's go to the Shopify test site. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this site so it's easy to find for you. Uh, scroll down a little ways on here and you're gonna find Visa, MasterCard. Grab one of those, copy, and we're gonna go back to our site. We're gonna paste that in. All right, so then you're gonna add a name you're gonna add an expiration date. And that expiration date can be any date in the future. And then a security code, which can be any three numbers that you want. It could be one, two, three. And once you're done that, we're gonna continue on and uh, we're gonna actually make a purchase. Okay, now. We've made our purchase now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to our tag assistant and we're gonna look down and you can see that uh, you'll have a Google Ads conversion tracking. And if it's working properly, this is gonna show up. Um, and that way you know that your, uh, your site triggered that conversion and uh, you have your global, global one up here. 
So uh, it's all connected properly. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, and we'll have more videos coming. See you guys.